So you're a deputy? I'm the chief deputy. You're the chief? Okay. Well, so you, you know better. Young Charles David. I'll get up on the driver's side, see if I can smell something. Valentine, Arkansas State Police. Stop because you look like you're having trouble controlling your vehicle. All right, what's going on? A lot. I got arm. Your arm? Okay, where is it? Huh? It's on your chest. Huh? Been drinking a little. Okay. All right. Can I see your driver's license? Yeah. So where are you coming from? Um, just over Missouri. Okay. How much have you had to drink? Not much. Okay. Well, is your vehicle off? Turn it off for me. All right. Go ahead and step out with me, okay? So you got a gun on you? It's off. It's off of you? Is it in the vehicle? Yeah. Okay. So you're a deputy? I'm the chief deputy. You're the chief? Okay. Well, so you you know better. I've had some bad times. Okay. Well, I understand that. Uh, but, I mean, you know we can't be out driving if we've been drinking. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I caught you coming back onto the highway back there. You almost hit a sign and then followed you for a little while and you touch the yellow line twice, touch the white line twice, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna do some tests on you. All right, you know how all this is gonna go. Uh, if you are impaired, there's nothing I can do for you, okay? Okay. Because it's not, uh, it wasn't my choice, whatever you've done, and you know, my job's gonna be on the line just like yours is, okay? You got gum in your mouth? Okay, go ahead and spit that out for me. All right, come back here toward my car, okay? So how much have you had? You don't know, you don't remember? Okay, well, pull your hands out of your pockets. All right, go ahead and stand. All right, you gonna, you gonna be all right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and stand up for me right here, okay? And face my car. You want to go through these tests, or you just want me to take you in? Huh? I won't take you to Newton. We're in Boone right now, so I'd be taking you to Boone. 
okay. I know it sucks. All right, but like I said, it's not my choice. You can't give me a break, man. You know I can't. Absolutely can't. It's on camera. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I've got family out here on this highway. I'm sure you do too. I do smell, I mean, I can smell some odor of intoxicants, all right? Of course, you've admitted to me that you've had something to drink. It's on camera, you're driving. So it's up to you if you want to take tests or if you just want to go into jail. Well, I understand that. But you, I'm sure you understood that too when you decided to drive, right? So, what do you want to do? Well, we can't sit here all day. I know. I'm on a, I'm on a stop just north of 206 on 7 South. Go ahead. Again, it's up to you, but like I said, we can't sit here all day, so either we can do some tests here, I can PBT you, we can see where you're at. You know the law if you're under 8%. Uh, I mean, it's still, it's still up to me, you know, between 4% and 8%, whether I want to take you to jail or not. I do have some bad driving. If you're under 8%, I can work with you. If you got somebody that can come get you, we can go that route. Okay. If, Seriously. I've, I can't do that. I can't, without testing you, yes, sir. You know that I have no discretion when it comes to DWI. It, no, it's not. We've got cameras, we've got everything else. It's not like it used to be. I do wish I could help you out, but uh, I don't. I I do not have that discretion. Okay. So, you want to take a chance? We can either, like I said, we can see where you're at, or you can go to jail, not have. Any uh, any further evidence? You know, it's up to you. Uh, now, I guess I'll just go to jail. Okay. She wouldn't have told my shit, but have you got somebody by close by and come get it within like five to ten minutes? That's the whole thing in my life. Well, she's gonna know. She, she know where you're at right now? No. Okay, which, I mean, that's none of my personal business, but I'm just, you know, just curious. But, uh, like I said, if you've got somebody that can come get it, again, I can't leave it here, okay? Because if someone comes by and knocks a window out of it, it's gonna be on me, so we can't do that. So just so I know right now, I mean, you're refusing all tests. You're not going to take a test when we get down there or anything like that? No. Okay. No. Okay. So do you have someone you can call? Okay. Well, go ahead and get them on the phone, okay? Phone in your truck. Yeah. Well, I know you don't want to, but like I said, I mean, I don't want to either. But unfortunately, I do not have a choice.
cool. I'm just here hanging out. How long will it take? Ask how long it'll take, please. Sit here and wait till she gets here. Is that your wife coming? Okay. All right. Come on out. You got anything on you? Anything in your pockets? Nothing at all. Huh? I said it's in your truck. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Walk up this way. Go ahead and put your hands on my car. All right. We're just gonna go through this like we normally do. Really? Yeah. I just gotta follow policy, man. If I want them to back me up, I gotta do what they want me to do. All right? Go ahead and put your hands on there, bring your feet backward toward me. No, put your hands on the car for me, bring your feet back. All right. So you don't have anything on you? All right, I will do you the professional courtesy if you want. We can, uh, I can just cuff you in the front, sit you in the back of my car, you wanna do that? Or you'd rather have them behind your back? Cuff me. Seriously? Like I said, it's policy. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You want me to follow policy? I think it's bullshit, by the way, but... Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to get my pills out there. I have to have them. Okay, what are they for? Uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you go up there. There's a gun there. Okay. So where's your bill? Okay. Guns in there. And okay. Should be all right with them in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. I'll follow you. Just set me in the back seat. Yeah, we'll set you in the back seat. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Sure. We'll go on that side. No, go on the passenger side. Go ahead and slide on in. Kind of knocking myself loose there. Alright. Go ahead and get buckled. You want to be buckled? You want to be buckled? Are you serious? You don't want to be buckled? I mean, that's up to you, I guess. Man. It's not my fault. Don't look at me like it. No, no, it's my fault. Okay. 
I mean, like I said, I, I do not want to do this to another law enforcement officer. I've always heard about it happening. I never wanted it to happen to me, okay? But like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. Right. You understand that? No, I it's do not understand. On me. I know, I know it's not on you. Okay. But you know, if you were some it. other guy out here, you know, driving around suspended, you know, no job, whatever, I'd be doing the same thing. Pretty much lost my life, lost my career, and probably lost my life. Well, I hope not. I mean, I don't know what you guys, uh, you know, I don't know how everything goes over there, but uh, you have a pretty good chance of, you know, judge finding you not guilty. He does that quite a bit. I don't know how. I've never seen him uh, in court with another officer with a DWI, but, uh, you know, in, in that court, it's kind of hit or miss whether or not we're going to get a conviction on DWI. So, I don't know if being charged with it is enough for you to get fired, or I don't know if you have to be convicted of it. Or a couple things to think about, maybe. No, I'll um, Sure. All right. Well, I'm going to shut this door, okay? typically me. I, I don't I don't feel like I'm drunk enough to you know be you know. You'd be intoxicated? Yes. Over the legal limit. Well like I said, you know you I mean I gave you the choice. If you wanted to take this and see where you're at or you know, just go on down with uh with no tests. Hello. Hey, uh, I am 1015 with a white male. Yep. Uh, like I said, just north of 206 here, waiting on a, someone to come get his vehicle. And then we'll be going to Boone County. Alright. Should be here about 10 minutes, maybe. But I'll let you know when I'm headed out. Yep. He's good. Okay. Any more on the cows? Okay. Yeah. do now. What do you think? Well, uh... 15 uh, years law enforcement? I don't know. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, I've, I've got just what was on the camera there, a little bit of your driving. So, uh, if you're refusing all other tests, then that's going to be the only evidence we have. So, you're just kind of taking a chance on what the judge wants to do, but, yeah. you know, I, don't, I mean, obviously I can't give you any legal advice, but, uh, you know, you, you may have a shot doing that, or, you know, if you took a portable and you were under, then, you know, you'd have, that's just another chance you could take on that, too, so. I feel like I'm under, to be 
being honest with you, I don't drink much, but yeah. but I know how it goes. You know, back in the day, of course, a long time, an officer would just take him home. Yeah, I know. I've heard about that. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, just because that's what they used to do doesn't mean that was right. Yeah. You're right. We also used to slap people around just for back talk. Can't do that anymore either. <laughs> well, I used to do that too, but... Yeah. Fuck. 122, 124. Yeah, please. Yeah, Sorry to bother you. You don't have any water or anything in there. Do water? You? Yeah. Water. I do have, actually. I got that. You wonder. You want any of that? Um. You got no. coffee up there, don't you? Yeah. Can we go get it? I tell you what, if you open that tailgate, uh, I got water in there. Okay. Oh. There. I want you in the back seat. Uh, look, back seat. Okay. Trying to figure out what I do now. Uh, uh. I don't know. I mean, what do you mean? What I do for like a career. Oh. I mean, it's gonna. Well, like I said, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you guys' policy is. Like with us, I don't even know if I was to be. Uh, charged with the DWI, I don't think that'd be enough to get me fired. I think you'd probably have to be convicted of a DWI. So, I wouldn't even, 
I mean, I know it's on your mind, but, you know, I probably wouldn't be too worried at this point. You <laughs> wouldn't be worried at this point? Well, I mean, Is that what you I'd said? be worried, but I, you know what I mean. You've not been fired yet. So. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Probably need to... I'm drunk, so anyways, he pulled me over for drunk driving. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Where I'm at almost 206. Taking me to Boone County. Can you can you bomb me out? Can you get me out of there? Okay. Alright, thanks. Okay. Alright, bye. 
you don't want to say how much longer your ride's going to be? Yeah. Your driver? Hey, where you at? Sitting here at this church that RPM or whatever. Okay. All right, bye. How far out? Still in that Spring Valley. Oh. your PC, by the way? You're driving. I saw okay. go off into the ditch and then come back, hit the yellow line twice, hit the white line twice. Okay. I guess you guys are taking the truck? Yeah. Who's driving it? Uh, okay. Have you got your driver's license on you? I just got to just wanna run it and make sure uh, that everybody knows who I'm releasing the vehicle to, okay? Okay. You want to talk to her? Please. You can talk to him if you want. Can you let me out, man? I mean, I'm well, I don't want to do that. And I'm not saying you're going to run or do anything stupid, but, you know. This is ridiculous. And you are no better than Jamie Ralston. And she, all she wants to say to you is for you to come get your stuff. Because if you cared about her, you wouldn't do this.
stretch of field on I said, man, I, I said, I've always heard about this. I said, I hope it never happened to me. But, Did you have a copy of my traffic? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Negative. All I heard was you call for me. Can I get a 309 to clean holding cell one, please? Huh? Michael Dunn. Michael Dunn. He's, he's the chief. Chief or chief deputy. Sorry, chief deputy. I worked with him on uh, that deal out at Newton County. Uh, out still not working, Sergeant. Western Grove, that guy that had the baby on the, wasn't that Thanksgiving? I think. Yeah. One of them holidays last year. Yeah, I think it was Thanksgiving. Because I was headed out to my mom and dad's house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that sucks. He's like, man, you can't just, I'm like, I can't do anything. I said, it's all on camera. I mean, I can't just let you go or let somebody come pick you up. I mean, they have preached that to us and preached that to us. I said, yeah. I said, well, it's, he kept looking at me. I said, don't look at me like that. I said, it's not my fault. It wasn't my choice. No. Oh, well, not a lot. Yeah, but not enough. We have an issue. Okay. He refused the BAC, and that's typically for our old. He refused yeah. the BAC? Yeah. Yeah, he's refused any test. I didn't. Oh. I hadn't. Uh, okay, well, then that's, that's the rules. That's the rules. Yeah. I just kind of like to him, so I'll take it back. Yeah. Yeah. He'll have to at least take a PBT if he wants to get out of here before doing that. Yeah. I told him, I mean, of course he knows. I was like, well, you know the drill. I said, you can either take a test or not take a test. If you're under, you know, I can help you out. If, you're, if you if you decide not to do anything, then it's up to the judge, whatever he decides to do. That's what you want to do. That's okay. Nobody's going to be mad at you. That's just the way it is. Uh, so I told him a while ago, I said, you know, as soon as we get you processed in, if the sheriff comes up here, we'll release you.